Raptool is the quick and easy way to make customized software solutions for mobile computers. In the designer, you make applications through a graphical interface without programming. Development time is cut down drastically. Now I'm going to show you the wrap tool designer on the PC. This is where you make your applications uh, that will be uploaded to the mobile devices. So I've just added the text field, uh, a headline where you show the user what he's supposed to do, what type of application you're working in and so on. And now I'm adding two more text fields. One that tells the user he's supposed to scan a barcode and one that tells him he's supposed to scan a quantity. And now I am adding the input fields, input 1 and input 2 for scanning barcodes and entering a quantity. Now I'm adding a timestamp uh, that tells the time every time you pass that in the sequence. So now I'm adding a file uh, that uh, saves input 1, input 2 and time to a file, a CSV file that I've uh, defined very quickly there. And now I'm adding a table that shows the content of this file and running the simulator and showing it how it will work in the mobile device. So now I will save it to a file, inv.rap, and I will open the communicator, the USB communicator where I have a mobile device connected and I will up upload this uh, file to the mobile device. Now I will start the uh, uh, the screen viewer where you can see what's happening in the mobile device that's connected to the PC right now. So this is a built-in support tool that's inside the RevTool communicator where you can see the connected devices activity. And now I've disconnected the device uh, from the USB port and I will reconnect it again. Uh, this is the receiving folder where Reptool Communicator is uh, set to send its files. So as soon as the mobile device connects, you will see the SQL files pouring in and uh, being converted to CSV. And here is the file viewed in Excel. So this is the Reptool Designer. I've made a, an application here for retail. It's made up of a few text boxes that show the user what to do. There's an exit button. I can move everything around here in, in the designer and uh, make the boxes smaller or larger or do whatever I want. Uh, change the colors and, and so on. Uh, it cos consists of uh, a few screens, so this is the first screen where you enter the employee ID and then you enter a code to get through to the main menu and this is where you do your different work tasks uh, by pr pressing a touch button or pressing a key on the keyboard on the mobile device. So now I'm going to save this to my computer and I'm going to start the communicator and I have a mobile device connected so I'm just going to send over the design file to this mobile device retail app and now it's off and there it's completed so now I'm going to go over to the mobile screen and show you what's happening on the mobile device and I'm disconnecting it from the USB and running through the Wi-Fi so first I'm entering the employee ID 1000 and this guy's name is Ken Kenson. His entry code is 1234. And now I'm in the main menu and I can select the different work tasks like order, printing, uh, shelf labels, moving stock from one store to another, doing inventory, receiving goods, and uh, sales. I'm going to start by showing you order. So if I want to place an order for this uh, Kellogg's Wall brand, I just scan the barcode here and it looks up in the database the uh, size of the parcel and who's the distributor and so on. And I can look at my list of orders. I haven't ordered anything yet. I have to scan the barcode and then uh, press how many I want to order. And there it's in the list. 
and I can go back to the main menu and uh, if we have a look at sales this is an application that you can use up in, in a store for example uh, if you want to help your customers you can just scan a barcode and you can see if you have this product in stock uh, if you want to create a receipt for your customer for example if you work in a clothing store or shoe store or electronic store or whatever uh, you can go out and shop with the customer so you scan the membership card and this will be the file name of uh, of the file that's sent over to to the PC so you scan the barcode for the products that your customer wants to buy and it's added to the receipt for the customer I can add an, another product and that's also added and another and so on and you can see the total counting up there for the for this customer and when I'm finished I press ready and go back to the sales assistant menu um, if I scan a product and it's not in our stock I can look at the stock in other stores by pressing other store here and then I can see the, uh, the total quantities in the stores that are nearby my store uh, so that's wrap to retail so now I want to synchronize my device to my PC so I just connect it and I open the communicator and it waits to get connection to the mobile device now they're connected and there it's seen and you can see that it's sending over the files uh, so this is the, the file that I made together with the customer this is the customer number and this is the products he added to uh, to his receipt and in the other file you can see the purchasing order that I sent over to Kellogg's here for 23 uh, parcels of uh, Kellogg's All Brand and what I want to do now is to disconnect the device from the USB and I want to work through the Wi-Fi so uh, I'm s closing down the wrap to USB communicator and I'm opening up the net communicator here so what I'm gonna do now is to send over a new design file to this mobile device. So I'm browsing to my hard drive here and I want to send over Reptool Warehouse to this mobile device. And when I press update, uh, you can see this, uh, this mobile device is going to go into the pending status. Uh, so this means that it's waiting for something to happen. So if I go out of here, I go back to the main menu and I press synchronize. This starts the synchronization process. So when it's connected to the Wi-Fi, it starts sending files, receiving files, and now it's found a new design file here from the Reptool Net Communicator. So it closes down Reptool and you restart it and uh, then you'll have a new design file loaded in your mobile device. So now it's starting up and here you can see Raptool Warehouse is loaded now in the mobile device. Raptool can emulate many import and export file formats from older devices, making it easy to replace them. Create more advanced applications using the capabilities of a modern enterprise mobility device.